Rome, everyone. I'm Father Reed. Ciao, amici. I'm standing here in the middle of one of the most fascinating neighborhoods of Rome, Trastevere. The octagonal fountain right here in the center of the piazza is an ancient Roman original that was restored and embellished in the 17th century by Carlo Fontana. In the evenings, and sometimes even in the afternoons, this fountain is a really popular gathering spot for locals and tourists alike. But the most striking sight here in this busy square lined with restaurants and pricey bars is actually the church behind me, the church of Santa Maria in Trastevere, said to be the oldest church in Rome dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Santa Maria in Trastevere may have originally been founded as early as the third century by Pope Callistus, but it was probably built around 350 AD under Pope Julius I. It was partially destroyed by fire during the sack of Rome in 410, and then it was repaired and rededicated to the Virgin Mary by Pope Celestine sometime around the year 430. After a number of restorations, the church was totally rebuilt in the 12th century by Pope Innocent. And when he did that, he used materials from the ancient Baths of Caracalla, now, most of the present building dates from this era, with the portico and some of the other remodeling coming from the 19th century. Now, like the fountain here in the square, the facade was restored by Carlo Fontana in the 17th century, but those faded mosaics you see actually date from the 12th of the 13th centuries. Inside the church, are 22 granite columns taken from the ruins of ancient Roman buildings. And a cosmati column, just to the right of the altar, marks the spot of a miraculous flow of oil which occurred in 38 BC, and which was interpreted by some who lived in this neighborhood as a sign of the coming of the Messiah. A truly fascinating basilica, an intriguing neighborhood. Santa Maria in Trastevere. For now, ciao, amici. Ci vediamo presto. So this is the gorgeous courtyard of Palazzo Farnese that we get to see here today. Wow, this is the official library of Palazzo Farnese. Wow. Look at the ceiling. ballroom we have got this incredible statue of Hercules from ancient Rome and then these gorgeous tapestries over here and then the ceiling which is unbelievable I mean it's made of all wood We have a bird's eye view of Piazza Farnese from the Palazzo, pretty nice. Most people don't really know that this little street that you see here that cuts between these two buildings called Via Baulari, that street didn't exist before the prince built this palazzo. Basically, uh, the C and Vicine palazzos were out on the street beyond this palace, like over on the other edge of these uh, buildings. And when the prince decided to buy this palace, he thought it would be a good idea because he'd be near the market, near the river, but he wouldn't be able to see and be seen. So he bought up all the buildings between here and the big street out front, which was called the Via Papalis, the Papal Way, and he cut through them so that his palazzo would be visible from the Via Papalis. And then these amazing fountains that you see all came from the baths of Caracalla. more amazing than the next. Look at this. And outside too, so beautiful. What an amazing palazzo.
not so. Can you imagine living here? Well, if you're Prince Farnese and you're gonna be a Pope, I guess this is as royal as it comes. So this is the most famous room in the entire palazzo and it's why everybody's taking pictures and why there is a big traffic jam trying to get in here. Look at these stunning paintings by Annibale Caracci, one of the most wonderful painters of the Italian Renaissance. He was a contemporary of Caravaggio and in fact you can see more paintings by him in the chapel that's in the church of Santa Maria del Popolo. There's a chapel called the Cerasi Chapel, which is where Caravaggio has two paintings that everybody goes to see, but in fact, uh, Annibale Caracci painted the painting on the back wall of that chapel, which is the Assumption of the Virgin. Everybody is ooing and aahing, justifiably, and I'm thrilled to see that so many people are here enjoying this masterpiece, this incredible room, all this amazing art that we are so lucky to have and to be able to just come and visit. So this is Rome, enjoy. some of the most famous sightseeing attractions in Rome. Jump on a tour in the morning, afternoon, or evening from many locations and set off into the city's historic heart with one of our very own personalized drivers. Hop on and off as many times as you wish at any of the stops for a coffee break, an aperitif, or a typical Roman appetizer. Traveling by golf cart allows you to explore Rome with ease and to see more in a few hours rather than walking for long distances. Enjoy visiting some of the most important monuments in Rome, stress-free. With our local personalized driver, you'll visit ancient landmarks and fountains. You'll drive through elegant shopping streets. You can check out the bustling squares and see the most beautiful churches in Rome. It's set for just a few people at a time, so this tour provides a targeted experience. Experience Rome in a relaxing manner, keeping clear of the noisy traffic, because we'll drive you on the quiet back streets and pedestrian areas to get you to the main attractions. Our golf carts are 100% electric and have zero environmental impact. They're low noise and they're eco-friendly. With us, you can create a customized sightseeing itinerary and explore Rome at leisure. will make your experience like none other. Discover the landmarks of Rome from another perspective. Good afternoon, my name is Martina. I'm your historian and team manager in Rome. I will show you one of my favorite areas in the city between Trastevere and Giudice. We start our visit with the Piazza Morgana and Palazzo Morgani, one of the only two pedestrian areas in the city of Rome. We can start with the medieval tower, Torre de Morgani, from the old historical parts, 13th century main, and from this beautiful area where we have a traditional Roman food experience in the night. From this square, Piazza Morgana, we will enjoy you all together for amazing tour in Rome. And I want to show you my unconventional city, my secret city, the best I can offer for you this afternoon. And yeah. This very beautiful square is the Piazza Mattei. The old Roman family Mattei, commissioned in the 16th century, with beautiful fountains, 
that all the people know the design of the car is fun. The design of our car is also completed by John Lorenz of the Wallonian Festival in the 17th century. This uh, amazing place of mine is the So let's go now to the school of Jewish Ghetto and the portico of Italia. Also, we'll go around the restaurant and the beautiful corners of the river. Let's go. There's a quite strange and traditional area, it's Via della Reginella. It's just a very short connection between the Epsom of Day and the Jewish Quarter. Today it's very popular for artisans, old shops, and uh, just the restaurants. We now go to discover this area, which also is a unique in the night for the traditional atmosphere and the local artists. This is uh, the central area of the Jewish Quarter, and in front of mine I have the beautiful Roman portico, so called Portico di Octavia. And everything is ready for the night. In the late afternoon, all the restaurants are preparing the tables, the service, and they are ready to prepare fried artichokes, a special traditional food that in fall season will be the most uh, amazing experience you can taste with a food tour in the world. We can hear the noise of the street, and people are preparing the, the tables, and after the aperitif, at 8 the everything will be ready for the dinner. This uh, beautiful uh, archaeological area is called the Portico di Ottavia. It was built by Augustus for his sister Octavia 2000 years ago. It was originally in the Roman age, the gate into an old library. In the Middle Ages, it became also a cemetery and after the fish market hall. It was in use until uh, 150 years ago. Today, for the Roman, this is a very beautiful meeting area to select the restaurant at night, to walk to Campo di Fiore, to have a stroll around the Trastevere and the Jewish Ghetto. By this way, we'll start a lot of experiences and we can have for you different and original tools. With the amazing marble design, it's Carrara white marble. So really, we are in front of the Colosseum. It's a very modern and a good style hotel with the details Martin, about Mart the contemporary Martina, artists. Martina, yes. how many rooms? How many rooms in the in the hotel? In the rooms, we have twenty one rooms and nine suite rooms as this one. Okay, beautiful so, view. I will just uh, say thank you. What's your name? Sorry. Uh, sorry. Volevo ringraziarti. What's your name? Giovanni. Giovanni. He's helping us uh, very, very well. So, grazie, Giovanni. So, thank you for uh, this uh, moment. And now, if you want, we can share the video with the Trastevere and I can go to show you the final amazing view as you want to do. Yeah, uh, can you uh, can you talk while you are walking on the on the video? Yes, of course. You can okay. share the video. I can go upstairs and we can introduce the video now, of course. Okay. Okay. So let me share again the video and uh, we will uh, we will be in our way. Okay. Johnny, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here, and uh, yeah, okay. 
Can you see it? We can. Martina? Yes, of course. This is the amazing view of Ponte Sisto. It's uh, the amazing bridge which connects Trastevere and the city Sixtus. This is the Lungo Tevere, the amazing street which turns around the city center with the plain trees, Platani, along the amazing view of the Tiber. of San Adegianicolo is one of the most important panoramic areas of Rome with an amazing view in from the rest of the city. It's an old Renaissance church in Rome. Beautiful. We lost Martina. Yeah, we may lose her a little bit yes. as she's working her way upstairs. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm ah. just in the terrace. Okay. This oh. is the, the other view of Ponte Sisto. <laughs> These are the original traditional clothes in Trastevere. <laughs> they are part of the decoration and design. <laughs> These are the famous windows of Trastevere. The windows for us has a lot of eyes from the windows and an amazing view of the city. In Trastevere, we unhold historical palaces of the Renaissance. Are we all ready to go? Walls of Rome, Vicolo Moroni. These are Roman walls. In Trastevere, you can find the walls of the third century AD, which still today surround the city for 19 kilometers. These are made by bricks, third century AD. This is uh, one of the gates of Trastevere. This is one of the old gates of the Roman brief, of the Roman walls, and uh, also it's Porta Settiniana. It's the connection, the walkway between Trastevere and the Vatican area. The Vatican also is located in the right of Rome. It's a very famous historical tradition. Trastevere, it's Einstein. It's a very old, typical, traditional uh, drink bar, very famous for coffee, for ice cream, and it's a very old style of the 80s. It's one of the most popular fountains in Trastevere. It was designed in 1921 and it was inspired by a wine uh, a cellar, of course. And it's amazing because uh, you have uh, the old uh, design. And it's a Santa Maria in Trastevere with one of the most important mosaics of the city, 13th century made. These are made by also glass and gold leaves. It's the exactly. ceiling, it's totally made by wood and gold, and the mosaic are all designed in the 12, 1235, 1285. This is the church inside with the view. It's an historical Martina, are, pastry, yes. Are, if you are, want, you can are, select, yes. Are all the churches open now? Yes, the churches are open. In Santa Maria and Trastevere now, the priest wants to use single chairs. So to open the church and to have a daily mass, they have a single chairs. So it's the same. So we can use the chairs and we can have the mass every day. It's a traditional uh, area where you can taste the uh, ice cone, gratta kekka, typical uh, uh, ice cone of Trastevere, ice with the fruit and the juice. 
This is the statue of Giuseppe Garibaldi, the great hero of Rome. This statue was designed on top of Giannicolo, the amazing panorama of Rome. So, we are preparing the restaurant. So, if you want, Giannicolo is the hill which from you have an amazing view of Rome. And you have the most gorgeous view from Trastevere in front of the city. This is the cloister of the um, the Academy of Spain, where you have uh, the Spain Academy in Rome. Renaissance cloister on top of Gianicolo. And this is the walking tour, the walk uh, street uh, which connects Gianicolo and Trastevere with a Spanish uh, high school. Did you say high school? Yes, high school, because the Spanish community oh. has a, a different high school in the city because they have the Spanish Academy of Culture. This mm -hmm. is uh, Tiberine Island, Isola Tiberina. In this place, we have the amazing view of the center. You have the hospital, one of the oldest hospitals in Rome, and the Rome Bridge. It's the only island we have in the city. It's the border between the Jewish Quarter and the Trastevere. This is the Santa Maria and Trastevere, the amazing church. I don't know many pictures still, if you want to share the light now where I'm is amazing, so. Good, Johnny, we can move to, uh, we can move yes. to the rooftop. Because you have a hotel. perfect light. This is Ponte Sisto, eh? when you cross Ponte Sisto, you can go from the city center to Trastevere. For me, Ponte Sisto is the most amazing bridge in Rome. It was commissioned by the same Pope Sixtus, who built Sistine Chapel, Cappella Sistine, 1475. It's my favorite picture. From this picture, you can appreciate the sunset in Trastevere, the atmosphere and the beauty. Johnny? Yeah. You want to and move Santa Maria in Trastevere with the beautiful fountain the priest introduced before. It was designed by Bernini and it's a factory 17th century. Okay. We move to, uh, to the roof. Yes. And look at me where I'm now. Welcome to Aroma. This is the Michelin star restaurant. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Colosseum. At the sunset, it is so amazing. The Colosseum was the most important amphitheater for gladiators built by the Romans on the first century AD. The Colosseum, the archaeological remains of the gladiator barracks. You can also see, see the good light, Colosseum. The gardens are the hidden area where you can have the ex exclusive opportunity to see the underground with the Domus Area experience. It's available on request, the possibility to visit the underground of the gardens to see the amazing palace of the Roman Emperor Nero. And we are now in the heart of Rome. Uh, a Roma restaurant is a Michelin star restaurant. It's so amazing, the details, the atmosphere. The master chef is also the same from the opening in 2010. Palazzo Manfredi is the historical palace. You have also the coat of arms, the symbol of the Count Manfredi. And the, the courtings are opened just in the night to have the amazing sunset light. Now in this time, the menu is available with the QR code. The champagne is ready for drinks and everything is ready for the preparation. I will just uh, have the welcome from the match, just uh, to say hello to all our friends from uh, GT Experience. Hi there to everybody, I'm Alessandro Fini, and uh, I'm working Ciao, here Alessandro. in a special location, and uh, it's some view, as you can see. And also the amazing food, because the food is a part of your art experience. Exactly, in a restaurant with a Michelin star, and uh, the owner, to welcome you whenever you, you want. Grazie, uh, Alessandro. Thank you. Grazie. Alessandro, Alessandro, can we ask one question? question? I, have a, I have a question. Uh, breakfast is served on the rooftop or only dinner? No, it's um, the question is if they, you can serve the 
uh, breakfast, dinner, lunch? How is the situation we, now? Actually, uh, at the moment, we serve only breakfast and dinner. But uh, prob probably for next uh, season, we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. Also, imagine that if you can reserve a table independently from the hotel, the restaurant is independent from the hotel. And it's amazing because if you have an idea to have an exclusive uh, night or just a light lunch, you can uh, just visit this unique place. Grazie, Alessandro. Bye, thank you. Buon lavoro. Now we have another the question. I'm reading the question. And they have uh, the restaurant is this one, but they have also a lounge bar, the court, which is on the first floor. They have a lounge bar and uh, just in the other floor, two floors downstairs, but it's the only restaurant, yes. Great. Does anybody have any other questions regarding the hotel? Grazie. <clears throat> Look, the sunset light is amazing, eh? Also, they have apartments here, the same hotel as apartments. Look, the beautiful terraces. The suites are nine and they have uh, 12 uh, rooms, classic rooms, and uh, nine suite rooms. I'm reading the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, safes in every room. Let's go, what I wanna show you, they are ready for the dinner, everything is ready, so Probably I have to leave the terrace to respect the dining uh, uh, the dining room area. So the, the dinner is starting in a few minutes. And they were so nice with us, waiting for us. Look, this amazing table in just in front of the Colosseum. And uh, what can I say? You have to enjoy nice. it. <laughs> this, is, this is perfect. So, and also, yes, and uh, it's... Uh, mm, um, very beautiful uh, restaurant, but it's not so uh, so luxury. It's a good restaurant, high quality, but the style is informal. So you have a good dress code, but you don't have to dress the tie. You have uh, the possibility to enjoy a uh, normal, not classic dinner. The apartments have a good level, but they are not uh, as sweet. They are there. Look, I show you. <laughs> the same uh, company. Well, uh, we can get back to you with, uh, you know, for some people that want extended stays or th you're there with a family, apartments are uh, a, yes, a really I great go option. You know, they have, you have the ability yeah. to make some meals on your own Good. and Grazie. really live life Grazie. as a, family, so. a boy. Mar Martina, it's been, uh, you did a great job. Thank you for- uh, It's my pleasure. And we I'm an art historian, part. you know, but it's I'm an art historian, I'm a tour guide, but I love to mix the experiences because the Italy for us is culture, food, history, beauty, curiosities, and much. Okay, we, <laughs> we unfortunately lost it. We, uh, if we want, we can have a, a last a little walk of one minute in Trastevere with uh, Maritina. Uh, and she, had we, she had filmed this a little bit earlier, and I think she filmed it was a this very one sweet and, little... Yeah, and we can uh, finish our uh, today uh, event with this uh, small walk of one minute in Trastevere. And now you will see what really is Trust Avery uh, on one minute. Okay, let me share my screen. Great. And uh, we will uh, uh, see the, okay, here we are. And, uh, and here we go. <laughs> Welcome to my secret room. My name is Martina. I'm an art historian, I'm a tour guide. It's my pleasure today to introduce you in the hidden area of the city. We can start from Palazzo Morgani, a very wonderful palace of the 14th century in the heart of Rome. You can see the old medieval tower, the old original gate, and the beautiful terrace. 
from these residents in the pedestrian square will start our experience. And the next stop will be the Jewish Quarter and archaeological area along the Tiber. Follow me and we'll start together this amazing experience. In rock, we have a very great specialty. Mm -hmm. We have the water from the Roman time still today. In all the corners, you can drink great cold water directly from Roman aqueducts. In Rome, we usually call the fountains big noses because you can drink in this unconventional style. Be careful. <laughs> It's cold, drinkable, and wonderful. Welcome to my room. Martina, are you still with us? She, uh, she is muted. She is muted. I'm here. I'm oh, here. Okay. Ah. I'm here. <laughs> I'm just in the lobby. Look what is happening. Just uh, so I have to wait. Just the they talk with the clients. I'm here in the lobby and a lot of people are entering to enjoy the dinner and the aperitif at the Aroma Hotel. So this hotel, this restaurant are very popular in the city. So a lot of people are now entering and they have to check the temperature, the, the security, but of course it's safe, it's good and it's uh, normal for us now. And the life is restarting and we have just to uh, control just some details. But I'm here in the lobby. You can see it's, I'm with it's, you. It's, I'm it's, listening it's, you and just it. It's, it's, it's similar here. Uh, we are waiting to start to travel again. All of us on this video today, I, I'm, 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 I'm speaking for everybody. I don't know if it's, if it's really the case, but I have no doubt that all of us want to be in Rome right now. Uh, yes. So, Grazie, Tina. I really... <laughs> She's just saying it's that. Yes, so me too. I just... I'm in agreement with you, Tom. And also, we have we won't travel again. We have just to be a little bit patient. We can now connect image, art, beauty, experiences, as you are doing it today. So, yeah, just another well. detail of the of the amazing, beautiful library. From this point, you have here, and she's Veronica. That's correct. Thanks to her, it was possible for us to enter this night inside the rooms and thanks to the director. So thanks to Thank you very much. Thank Here you. we are. I'm sorry for the noise, but the street is open. The door is open in front of the street. So <laughs> just it. Uh, that's okay. Uh, Johnny, is there yeah. anything, does anybody have any questions before uh, we end? Uh, I see that there is a Carl that is asking for if the neighborhood considered is centrally located. I can say uh, it depends what centrally located is, it means. You know, uh, Rome, uh, the center of Rome, uh, what is the center? Is Via Veneto, is Piazza di Spagna, is the Colosseum, is Piazza Venezia. There are so many locations because those all those places are interesting. You cannot go to see Rome and not see the Colosseum where I am now seated. <laughs> and is the, the, the question is the question is that yes, you have to go. So the hotel that is a uh, hundred yards away from the Colosseum is centrally located. Uh, uh, you know, it's difficult on a city like Rome saying centrally located. Uh, if I have to tell the truth, it's not really centrally located as we intend, that everybody intend to be Rome, because for, for the American, for what I see, for them, for all of you, centrally located is Piazza di Spagna. This is the Spanish step, is the center of Rome. Yes, for sure, is an area that is uh, centrally located. But, you know, from the Colosseum to go to Piazza di Spagna, you can even walk. If you are a good walker, is uh, about three miles away, not even three miles, two miles away, you are in, uh, in uh, Piazza di Spagna. So 
the question the question of centrally located is always a little bit uh, uh, a little bit tricky as a question but uh, I, I, yeah you know I, 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 I am sure that you know I, I I can see a lot of the folks that are here uh, some of them mark you for example you grew up in trust Everest, so it was you can everyone can unmute themselves if they'd like uh, you know, I think, I know, Susan, you like to spend time in, in Trastevere. Uh, it's, you know, there are so, as Johnny said, there are so many beautiful sections of Rome. Uh, and it's not, you know, one of the beauties about not necessarily staying by the Spanish steps is being able to avoid a lot of the crowds, uh, which is, you know, in and, in and of itself a wonderful thing. And the, le the next, I think the next couple of years, because of COVID, we're going to have a moment where we're going to be able to breathe the air. Uh, and I believe that the air in Rome is probably cleaner than it's been in years. So I, I it's nice to be able to explore other areas. Uh, and again, it is, a, the city is big and I would consider so many areas central uh, versus years ago. And I don't know if anybody uh, else has anything. Yeah. Uh, close to the to the hotel, there is. A, although Rome doesn't have a huge uh, uh, metro system, uh, but close to the uh, to the hotel, there is the uh, at the Colosseum. There is the the station of the metro. Uh, there are buses. There are uh, uh, is still there are tramways uh, that you don't see too many uh, now on on those days in the in the in cities, but in Rome there are still and they just pass by the hotel, just in front of the hotel. So the connection there are, is there, uh, and I believe that there is, a, is quite a good, a good solution. And uh, it's a five-star deluxe property. Uh, it's a small hotel, it's a boutique hotel that may, uh, most of you like those kind of uh, situations. This is why uh, we present to you this hotel. We could have presented to you many other hotels where we have agreement, uh, uh, the Baglioni, the Berlini Crystal, the Majestic, uh, and uh, the, 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 the Russi, or whatever. But we believe that uh, those are the classic hotels. This one are very, very, very particular. And on top of that, he has a restaurant that is one of the most renowned restaurants in Rome. And is, uh, uh, is, uh, the view is unique uh, in Rome. So this is what is. So if there is any other question that you want to ask, uh, we can uh, draw our today's uh, price uh as usual and uh we have uh, the 300 dollar coupon uh, and also uh we are working on the stay in rome uh with our uh, um, uh, suppliers and uh, we will be able to, we will give the three nights hotel accommodation in rome uh, but uh, we will let you know the hotel later on uh which we, which one it is and let me see who is the winner of today. And uh, let me see one second the computer, what are going to tell me. Um, okay, the first one, the $300 is uh, Tracy Kosabun. Uh, of Tripoli. Uh, I don't know if Cressy is still here. Uh, no, I don't see her anymore. Uh, so we have to give the prize to somebody else who is uh, present to the event. Lucille Pussarelli. He's here, Lucille. I see. I see Lucille. Lucille. Lucille, can you take your off of off? Uh, put your speaker on. Uh, 
Here she is. So, All right, she doesn't have her camera or, or okay. mic on her computer, so no problem. Okay, Le, Lucille is uh, one of the winner, and the second one for the um, uh, three nights hotel accommodation uh, in Rome. Uh, let me see what the computer is going to give me. Melissa is here. Melissa Murphy. No? No, Melissa is gone. Melissa, she left already. We have plenty of people. It's difficult to find out who is here. <laughs> and um, so we're going to let me draw another, another name. Mm. I have, oh, <laughs> this is a good, good friend of ours, Carl Stein. Carl is here. Carl, where are you? <laughs> uh, unmute yourself. Carl? Now we see you, yes. Okay, you won the three night hotel accommodation in Rome. So enjoy your trip. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, congratulations, Jesse and Carl. Uh, we hope to see some of you or all of you tomorrow. Uh, we have a uh, presentation. The last two of this week, tomorrow is going to be uh, in Sorrento and we will be doing the Royal, uh, the Grand Hotel Royal. Uh, and on and on Thursday, uh, the northeast of France, uh, which is uh, an area that I uh, explored last uh, last summer, and it was incredibly beautiful. And we're going to see some wonderful chateaus. Uh, it's going to be an experience that you guys probably have not had in the past. So anybody that wants, and it's very close to Paris. So anybody that wants to. Uh, uh, join in that if you haven't already just uh, drop us a note and we'll make sure that we send you an invite uh, so thank you uh, enjoy the rest of your day guys uh, it was uh, wonderful to see all of you and uh, we'll see you soon see so, you soon thank, thank you. you very much bye-bye goodbye everyone bye